Allah Akbar. Indeed, all praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the words. And as such, we praise Him, we glorify Him, we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our souls and the dear consequences of our actions. We testify with full certainty and assurance that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the noblest of Allah's creation and the noblest of mankind. We welcome you all on behalf of the Sultanate, headed by His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, to this event hosting Dr. Zakri Naik and Sheikh Farik Naik to speak to us on two major topics. One, misconception in Islam. And may I have the singular honor of inviting to the microphone all the way from Malaysia, Sheikh Farik Naik to speak to us on the topic misconceptions in Islam or misconceptions about Islam. And inshallah, very soon, very, very, very soon, Dr. Zakri Naik will also be joining us here to speak on the topic, Muslim's choice, dawa or destruction. We await the presence of Sheikh Farik Naik, Afizahullah, who are May Almighty Allah preserve him upon goodness, upon faith, upon righteousness, upon sound health, upon the highest state of piety, upon the highest best state of mind, upon the path of the Siddiqin, upon the path of the Shuada, upon the path of the Da'is that we all love and revere. May Almighty Allah preserve him, grant him long life, in good health, with prosperity, with honor, with contentment, and with everything good in the lofty hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Almighty Allah preserve you upon goodness. I present to you all a Sheikh Farik Naik to speak to us about misconceptions about Islam. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Ala Rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Awuz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah wal maw'idati al hasanah wajadilhum billati hi ahsan Rabbi shwahli sadri wa yassirli amri wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Distinguished guest, my respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be upon all of you. Before I start with the topic, I would like to emphasize and stress upon the issue of Palestine. We do du'as for our brothers and sisters who are striving and struggling in Palestine and specifically in Gaza. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for all of your striving and struggling. We see in many of the videos that the Palestinian, our Palestinian brothers and sisters, they are under the rubble, they are torn, they are bleeding, they have lost their family members. Yet when they come out, out of this situation, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the iman that our Palestinian brothers and sisters have. Even though they are facing torture, even though they are oppressed, even though they are bombed, yet they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And today we see that many of the non-Muslims as well, they are supporting the Palestinian cause. And it has become, alhamdulillah, clear that the oppression that is being done to our Palestinian brothers and sisters, it is totally wrong. They are being oppressed. They are being bombarded. They are being oppressed severely. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them victory. Allah inna nasurallahi qareeb. Verily, the victory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is near. And we pray 
for the martyrs from among our Palestinian brothers and sisters, those who have sacrificed their lives for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for all of their striving and struggling and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them patience and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all those people who have lost their lives Jannatul Firdaus. Allahumma ameen.